Flux AI is the new best free AI image generator because it can generate text. It has super high quality. It's fast, customizable, and free. So in a minute, I'll show you three ways to use it so you can generate high quality images quickly. Ranges from the hardest paid way to do it to the easiest free way to do it. I'll share a prompting template that you can use to get incredible results. And by the end of this video, you'll know how to use Flux AI for your needs. So let's begin. So I'm now on the homepage of Flux One by Black Forest Labs. And the reason for that is to show you some of the examples. First, you can see that the image quality is really high, very detailed. And you can also see that it generates text the most reliably of most AI image generators. I tried making this text in Midjourney, Dolly 3, and they aren't nearly as good as Flux is, like what a hoot in the background there. You can see from realism to anime style to more of an abstract poster style. It really does it all. Here it's just flexing how many fingers it's got. <laughs> this bro wearing a donut head. And the other reason that I'm on the homepage is to share the three versions that you can use with Flux. And I'll show you three ways to use Flux from the hardest, most expensive way to do it all the way to the free version. So stick with me. Now here you can see that they have Flux 1 Schnell. This is the fastest model and it gives a little bit worse detail. They have the dev model that basically gives you a lot of control and I'll show you a use case on how to use the dev model as well. And the Flux Pro, which is the best Flux 1 model and it's what we'll be focusing the most on today. So now you know the difference between Schnell, Dev and Pro. I want to show you method number one, replicate. As you can see, I'm now on replicate.com slash Black Forest Labs slash Flux dash Pro. And this is one of the ways that most people use it. Now I've found that there is a better way to do it because the wait time is a little bit long on this but it's a cheaper alternative to the other one I'll show you in a minute. How Replicate works is that you have to apply a billing method and then each image costs around five cents. So that means 18 images equals $1. Here it says also 100 images should cost around $5.50. So just keep that in mind. But how you actually use it is very simple. All you need to do is to write a prompt here, select an aspect ratio, use the number of diffusion steps, guidance, interval. You can pretty much keep all of this on default unless you want to have a different output like JPEG. Also bumping the quality to 100% gives higher file sizes that may be beneficial to you, but let's test it out. This is where I'm gonna share the prompting template that I use to get the most consistent best results, which is object, background, and style. This could be anything like a frog where the background is in a pond in the style of realism. The principle is really that you want to describe the main character or thing that you want to have first and then describe everything going around it, the environment, maybe the weather and things like that. So let's use object and old school box computer screen. Here's another trick saying spelling the words and then having in brackets the actual text you want. And then we describe the background sitting on a home desk with a bunch of clutter around it, like cables and energy drinks. And because I will not have any style here, just realism, kind of like a photo, I'll just keep the style, but I'm going to select 16 by nine, and then I'll just click on run. And here you'll see one of the downsides with replicate is that it takes about 20, 30 seconds for it to actually make the image and you only get one variation. There you go. That's literally exactly the thing that I was thinking about. And again, it costs about five cents. And before we go to the next one, one thing to mention is inside of Replicate, you could do a lot of custom things that we cannot do with the other methods I'm about to show you. For example, they have this uh, Flux Dev Laura that I showed you in the previous step where I can actually add my own Laura in here 
that I've trained on my face. And now if I write a prompt that is AI Andy sitting on a beach chair, enjoying the summer, I can run this and I've trained it on my face that you can see me <laughs> right here. How to do this, I'm gonna show you in my next video on the channel. So remember to subscribe for that. But this was the first method through Replicate. I think it's a great way to do it. It does take quite a bit of time to actually make the images, but the cost is very low. Like you see this model here is as well, around five cents. But let me show you method number two, Korea AI. So Korea AI is my favorite way to use Flux and and I'll show you why in a minute. And all you need to do to get access is to sign up using Google. And once you're on the inside, you can... Look, this guy started on Etsy 60 days ago and has 572 sales, selling simple t-shirt designs. Here's how you can do the same. Step number one, go to kittle.com because this is where you can get easy designs even created by AI. Step number two, just click on new project, select the size, we'll do standard. And in the bottom, you can see all these cool t-shirt designs. As you can see, this is literally almost the exact same design that we found on Etsy. They got some really cool designs in here, but to make it even easier, you can always click on the AI image generator. I'll write streetwear t-shirt design of a bear with open mouth generate. And right off the bat, it looks really cool. Now we can just customize it, put the text in here. And literally in one minute, we got an amazing t-shirt design. But to see how it actually looks on a t-shirt, we can click on mock-up, choose our design and see how it looks like. I can't believe how easy it was to use Kittle to create these amazing designs that would easily sell on Etsy. So click link in the description down below to check out Kittle AI. Thanks to Kittle for sponsoring this section of the video. But let me show you method number two, Korea AI. So Korea AI is my favorite way to use Flux and I'll show you why in a minute. And all you need to do to get access is to sign up using Google. And once you're on the inside, you can click on generate images. As you can see inside of Flux, you have a lot more variations and it goes a lot faster to actually create these images. I tried creating images of my face and then face swapping them because I use these in my thumbnails, but I just wanna show you how fast it is and the different features that you get inside of Korea AI. So we could do a random prompt here. I'm just gonna customize it using the prompt template and then I'm gonna click on generate and I'll show you in real time how fast it is. So as you can see, you kinda get the generation almost right away and you get four variations that literally in a couple of seconds we are finished and obviously the results look really, really good. The additional features we have is that we can select a custom ratio even beyond 16 by nine, we can actually slide it up and down to whatever we want. Secondly, we can actually click on variation. So if we really like this one, we can generate four variations kind of like Midjourney has. That is a great feature that I really like. And lastly, we have styles, so you can imitate a style instead of uh, having to prompt it a lot. So if I click on this style, for example, we can even apply how much we want from that style. So if we do 100% and generate again, you see that it starts generating right away and we get that style. I'll do one last one and I'm gonna select a style here. Maybe like this would be kind of cool. I'll keep the style at around seven and generate. And there you have it. Bunch of really cool generations. It happens really quickly. So this is one of the reasons why I use it. But to use it like this, you have to pay around $10 per month. And that gives you two hours per month of generation time. I know that free for three minutes a day is around 20 images. So if we do some quick math, that is around 800 images per month. So depending on how much you want to use it, I think that's a fair price for it, especially seeing how fast it is and with all the additional features. But if you really want to do it for free, let's go to method number three, SeaArt. SeaArt is one of those places that has a huge community and they give you access to try a lot of them for free. So I'm going to just click on this quick tool here, which is Flux text to image. They also have image to image inside of SeaArt. And if I click on it, as you can see, we can write a prompt in the top left. We can select the aspect ratio and they have a lot of different ones to choose from here and just click on generate. And just like that, we got the image. 
the main problem with this method is that you are using the Schnell model, which is the fastest, and it does have a less quality, as you may be able to tell from this image. It's a little bit more blurry, and how much you can use it is you start with 150 each day. So that means that each generation that I've done costs around eight credits, which means you can do around 18 images per day. And I like C art a lot because it's really quick. The other platform that you could do it for free as well, and you get about 20 images is Kriya. But the main issue with doing Kriya for free is that it takes a long time to generate. So about a minute or so, but on the free version, you do get the pro image. So it is a little bit higher quality, but it depends if you want quality or if you want it fast. So those were the three options to go with from Replicate to Kriya AI to C-Art. Which one are you gonna start using? I hope this video helped you. And if it did, check some of the links in the description so I can help you with AI more. And I'll see you in the next video.